Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 20th of April. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Green Technology Metals, EML Payments, Tirana Resources, Pilbara Minerals and Fortescue Metals. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you've signed up to the free newsletter, but my stock tips come out every Tuesday in the Dynamic Investor Report, so make sure you are getting that report. But if you do enjoy these videos, I'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is portfolio management, so if you'd like to have a broking account with me, please give me a call and I can explain how that works and all the advice here is general only. So a daily chart here of um, GT1, as we could see since November, it's it's been in this downtrend. We've got the the lower lows, um, the lower highs. I mean, if we zoom in, potentially we've got this, um, you know, the first sort of higher low. Um, and there's been some good bounces off these lows here. We could see by the candles, it's finding some good buying support. Look, it did put in a, a lower high, but you know, good buying support as, as well here. So. Yeah, potentially it's starting to turn around. I mean, we may well see a um, formation here of an inverse head and shoulders, but you won't know until it gets up here and cracks the neckline. So, look, one, one to keep an eye on, obviously, if it breaks this low, that's a negative. Um, EML, so, you know, big, big destroyer of capital over time, as we could see, zooming out last last couple of years six dollars to less than a dollar but look at the moment potentially we've got a um a base here that's that's been formed um that's now in place so we could see there was a resistance level there support level there and as we could see the bounce off on volume and then yesterday it it broke that um that resistance level also on volume so um Breakout, good volume. Um, essentially, it looks like it should head higher. I mean, what you could do is, you know, if you're looking at, at purchasing it here, I, I just have a stop under this line. But for the moment, it does look like it wants to head higher. Okay, Tirana Resources. Um, so we've still got this this downtrend here. No, no signs yet of a proper base and a reversal. Um, I guess if we just look a bit closer, I mean, we could see that that there was a level of resistance here around two cents, which it managed to pop above yesterday. A little bit, of, you know, a bit of an increase in volume. Um, you know, higher risk, but you could possibly treat this as a buying opportunity with a tight stop. But I think ultimately, you'd want to see more higher lows and higher highs to be comfortable that. It is on the way back up. Um, PLS, so if I go to a weekly chart, we can we could see that look around this sort of zone here, you know, long time, long term support. Um, but just coming back to the the daily chart, so it's come back to an area of support. Um, what we've had is a this pullback, we could see it went to a new low compared to this low. But the RSI bottomed back here. So this is bullish divergence, which is a positive. But we've got a crossing here on the MACD. So, you know, the buy signal, sell signal, a new buy signal, you know, tight range that it bounced out of. So doing all the right things to indicate that it wants to head higher. We've now got the higher low. Um, and yesterday gave us that higher high. So yeah, at the moment, it looks like this one's on the course to, to recover. And finally, Fortescue, um, I'll move to a weekly chart. This is where it looks a lot more, a lot more interesting. Um, you know, we can see this, you know, sort of the reversal. This was a, um, we look, I looked at this one last year um, for clients. So we looked at the false break uh, and the move above it as the buy. Then we had the correction here um, where it broke above that, rally towards the 2020 high and as we could see it's now just congesting under that 
um, sorry, the 2022 high. Now consolidating under that high, which is very bullish, we could see it's it's been hitting it on a number of occasions. I I, I think this will break above 23. If you get a break, if you get a break above 23, then then that would be the buy signal. I think it's doing a lot of work here under these peaks. So you, know, you get an upside break, and I think it'll it'll be off to new highs um, pretty soon. Okay, well that's all for this week. If you have a request, send it through, and I'll try to cover it next Thursday.